So, Imperfect Gardener here. Hopefully you saw that working out going over here, making this big row. Um, let's tilt you a little. I made it come all the way up, all the way down. Um, you can use a rake or you can use a hoe. They both work. I'm going to show you a little bit more over here of what I'm doing with this one and see if, if it's helpful at all. Um, uh, a hoe works. Hi. A rake hurt works. A hoe hurt works. Ah, I can't talk tonight. I'm out of breath. So, um, but part of what I do, this, the part of the reason I do this is, uh, let me get up here. Alrighty. Oh, still, hello, there I am. I like to have the raised bed like this. I'm still working on this one over here, and, uh, I'm just going to pull it over this way. What I found that has worked best is if I start on, um, like I've already got this is the part that I'm going to be walking through here in the middle. So I grab my rake and I'm pulling over from this side then I'm not stepping on any of the dirt here that I have rototilled of where I am going to have my stuff actually growing. And I'm pulling over this stuff. And as I get this all pulled over, flatten it into a row, then I will be able to step over into the next section and pull that over and flatten it into a row. So I'll end up with all these raised rows. What does that do? Well, it's fabulous. Um, I'm in Michigan. Uh, some people uh, live in areas where there's a lot of drought and stuff. Michigan, that's not usually a problem at all. We get a lot of rain, but we also have, um, you know, I have a well. I can water as much as I want to um, in the summer if we have hot days. Um, what I like about this is the raised bed pulls everything up um, from the bottom level. Um, it makes it so that when you water it, the roots need to dig down a little more to get the water. It also makes it so that your stuff like your cucumbers and your zucchini, they're not sitting in water where it's going to pool. You know, you, you have water pooling around your plant, and then your leaves are going to get ooky and soggy, and uh, you have more problems with mildew and things like that growing on the leaves. So that's why I raise them up. Um, it helps with the watering. It also helps uh, just to, uh, like, like I said before in another video, carrots. You've got them up, so they've got this much more good soil about this much more good soil on top of what you already tilled under so that's raising it up a little more so you've got your tilled soil four six inches another four inches on top now you got a good 10 inches for your carrots to uh, grow down into before they're going to hit something that's uh, not been tilled and so they can grow better and uh, that's good with any of the other stuff that grows down underneath the earth as well so i also just i like it for uh, weeding um, when i have these raised up like this uh, it keeps the ground very uh, soft, and when weeds get in there, it's really easy to pick them out when it's nice and wet, when you've watered it really well. Get in there, you can weed, you can pull the weeds out simply. Um, and I like to leave a nice space in between my rows, as you can see here, for me to walk up and down to pick vegetables and things. Now, when I get down to the rows where my tomatoes are going to be, I can even put a wider row in between if I want to, because this is only about, oh, I don't know, a foot and a half in between. Uh, almost two feet in between. With your tomatoes, uh, you could have three feet in between the rows if you wanted to um, give them a really big spread. Um, I usually I usually have about two in between my uh, two feet in between my tomato rows, and then within the row, I give them a good three feet in between each other um, most of the time, or at least. Gosh, that's my plan. And then usually what really happens is that I have extra tomato plants and I can't help but plant them. <laughs> I put them in. So I end up with some of them kind of close together and they just all grow all over each other. Um, but I'm trying to give them a little more room this year. Uh, in the past, there's been time my tomatoes have gotten some of that little rot on the leaves and different things happening with the leaves that's not good for them. And so I'm going to try to keep them a little more open this year so that uh, the air can circulate better and they won't get be wet and I have more diseases come up. So anyway, but this is how I rake my rows and I'm gonna get busy and uh, keep doing some more because I've got the whole garden to finish and uh, it's almost time I can put my plants in now because I think we've had our last frost. It's uh, May 20th and uh, this week's looking good and by the time you get to about the 26th, you're in good shape usually here in Michigan. So I'm really excited to get things in. Um, I already got some radishes coming up over on this side, but uh, it's time to plant everything else. So have fun, raise up your beds if you like it. I also just love it. I think it looks pretty this way. <laughs> okay, have fun gardening.